a multiple offer situation. In today's market, we're in a seller's market. What that means is, is that majority of all properties hitting the market are actually getting five, six, seven offers. Some may be only two or three. When you're thinking about what you wanna offer, the best thing is, is to make sure you're with your agent that can do a market analysis and make sure that the house is somewhat close to what they're even asking for. And then thinking about the offer. If your market analysis comes back and it says it's $20,000 less than what they're asking for the house, then maybe it's okay then to offer a little less. Reality is, is there's a lot of people that are offering way more just so they can secure the listing or secure the home, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna appraise for that value. So if you're thinking of offering less, make sure you get the comparative market analysis first, then look at your offer. The other part to that that I would say is, you have to consider if you're offering less, what your other terms are also. You may think, I wanna offer $20,000 less than they want, plus I want you to pay my closing costs. Well, closing costs could end up being five, ten thousand dollars $10,000, just depending on where you're buying and what price point you're buying at. So if you go to a person and say, hey, Mr. Seller, I really love your house, but I want you to reduce the price on it and I want you to give me closing costs, well, to them, you don't have the best offer. So when you're trying to compete, you're never gonna win coming in with an offer like that. Your agent should be able to advise you where they suggest that you offer, and then you have to make that determination on your own.